Published 1651 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 4th of October 2018. Updated 1651 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 4th of October 2018. Sir David Garrard quit the Labour Party in March over the ongoing anti-Semitism property developer Sir David Garrard, who donated £2 million to Labour before the 2015 general election, quit the party in March over the ongoing anti-Semitism row. Garrard, 79, also expressed regret for his large yes, yet in the past few weeks he has given Deputy Leader Tom Watson's office £15,000. My Westminster source explains there's no better way to irritate Jeremy Corbyn than by giving money to Watson. Santander's incoming boss, Suave Italiano Andrea Orsel, has been described as a determined alpha male who likes to get what he wants, although the ex-UBS banker, 55, will hold the title of chief executive. Overall in charge at the bank remains its redoubtable executive chairman Anna Botin, 58, whose family controls Santander. Wonder how that's going to play out. An erstwhile colleague mischievously smirks, past the popcorn, competitors in this weekend's Alfred Dunhill Golf Championship at St. Andrews include ex-Barclays boss Bob Diamond, Rich Amont chairman Johan Rupert and Aberdeen standard chief Martin Gilbert, accomplished players all, who should more than hold their own in tackling the world's most famous golf course, unlike my colleague Piers Morgan, who judging by some of his practice shots yesterday looks likely to be keeping the greenkeepers busy. Luxury goods conglomerate LVMH's billionaire patriarch Bernard Arna has appointed his cherubic son Frederick, 23, as digital director of watchmaker Tag Heuer, father of five Monsieur Arnaud's youngest son Jean, 19, now remains the only member of his offspring yet to enter the family business. Perhaps Bernard, 69, should send him to Celine to keep an eye on the fashion label's wife as creative chief Hedy Slomane. His debut collection was universally panned this week. Fulham Football Club's fabulously mustachioed owner Shahid Khan's has a floating gin palace kismet, which was comfortably the biggest vessel on display at the recent Monaco Yacht Show, the 312 feet. Monster has eight bedrooms, a 28-man crew and is available for charter at £1 million a week. Is anyone daft enough to pay that much? Size my Monaco mole, well, Beyonce and Jay-Z certainly were this summer.